is the carbon tax popular? Um, we don't say, is the carbon tax and rebate regime popular? And I remember when, you know, when we were do initially doing it in Alberta and some initial modeling was released, and this was my, like, my error in a way as, a, as an analyst, but it's worth talking about, Chris. I know you're nervous. But I had asked for three pieces of analysis to be done. Carbon tax alone and effectively assume that you light the money on fire. I just want to see what the impact of it is in isolation. Rebate alone, assume that you can get the money from wherever and the three of them combined. Of course, the study that got leaked to the press was the one with carbon tax alone and you light the money on fire. But I think what we need to do is have more of that conversation of it as a complete policy, that it's a means to say, yes, we're going to allow substitution away from fossil fuels, but that essentially the emitters are funding those who are not. Uh, or, or those who are lower emitters. And the more we have that conversation, the better. I do think, though, the, the challenge that we've always had as economists is we don't communicate the idea that just because you get a check doesn't mean, in fact, it means exactly the opposite. It's not optimal for you to turn around and buy the stuff that just became more expensive. It's optimal for you to go and buy other things. And that's the conversation that we're really not having. We still tend to have it as if you keep doing everything that you do the same way, you'll be better off. We forget the second part, which is if you actually change your behavior, you and everyone else, every single thing that you do will make you better off incrementally.